I'm Sean Bowes, Concert Visual Designer in Los Angeles, California. Today, we're talking about the best free apps for creating concert visuals. In my previous video, I talked about the five best apps for creating concert visuals, and those were the apps that myself and my colleagues use the most to create our visuals. But I got a lot of comments about the price of some of those pieces of software, and it's true, some of them are not cheap. So I wanted to provide you with a list of my favorite free apps that you can use to create professional quality concert visuals today for zero dollars. First app I want to talk about is Blender. Blender is a free and open source 3D creation suite that supports the entirety of the 3D pipeline. Modeling, rigging, animation, simulation, rendering, compositing, motion tracking, and even video editing and 2D pipelines. It also comes with the Cycles Path Trace Renderer and the EV Real-Time Render Engine. And that combination is really powerful for creating renders similar to like an Octane or a Redshift right inside of Blender. The reason I didn't mention it in the last video is because I don't use it very much and neither do the studios that I work with personally. But over the last two years, I've noticed that this program has increased in popularity a ton. If I were to go back and start learning 3D again today, I probably would start with Blender. It can do everything, it's free, and the community behind it is incredible. There are a ton of people creating tutorials about the software, and because it is open source, the community of developers and artists who are creating new plugins and features for the software is intensely powerful. That is the reason why this tool is so robust and really is a one-stop shop for creating visuals. Because it's so fully featured and there's so much support Support behind it from the community. That's why it is my number one recommendation for a free piece of software to create concert visuals. Number two, Unreal Engine. Now, I mentioned this in my last video as well, but it bears repeating. Unreal Engine is a really powerful tool for creating concert visuals, and it is 100% free. Unreal Engine is a video game engine, but that means it is a really powerful 3D animation tool that comes packaged with a bunch of awesome interactive features. In recent versions, they've been putting a lot of time and resources into developing the tools outside of the video game workflow, such as those for film and television and motion graphics. And that includes virtual production tools for XR production as well. And once again, since my last video, this tool has become insanely more popular in the motion graphics and concert visuals industry. A couple of studios that I know have switched over almost completely from a Cinema 4D and Octane workflow to an Unreal Engine workflow. Unreal also has an extensive marketplace of 3D assets, plugins, and tools, as well as integrations with tools like Substance Designer and Megascans that allow you to bring in high quality materials and 3D objects with ease. In recent versions, they've been paying a lot more attention to motion graphics workflow tools, such as the Sequencer and the Render Queue. They've also been improving render quality through tools like the GPU Light Mask for faster light baking and introducing the Path Tracer for path trace lighting inside Unreal Engine. This allows you to create high quality quality renders similar to other path trace renderers like Octane, Redshift, and Cycles. Unreal also contains some amazing simulation tools like the Niagara Particle System that are extremely powerful and run super fast. If you're interested in virtual concert workflows and live streams, Unreal can also take in live inputs, video, and other control systems like MIDI and OSC, so you can create a show environment right inside of Unreal, run your visuals and controls into it live and output that in real time to your audience. So if you're looking for a tool that can do high quality 3D animation renders or real time content for virtual production and virtual concerts, Unreal is my recommendation for you. The next free software I'm going to talk about is DaVinci Resolve. Resolve combines video editing, color correction, visual effects, motion graphics, 
and audio post-production into one piece of software. This makes it really convenient because your video editing and your graphics workflows are right there in one place. You don't have to keep switching back and forth between two different apps like Premiere Pro and After Effects. That makes it really fast and really convenient to work inside of. And it's also easier to learn because it's kind of just one software instead of two. Resolve's color grading tools are world renowned and some of the best out there. And the rest of its tools are pretty top quality as well. As I mentioned, inside of Resolve, there's a sub app called Fusion, which is their visual effects and motion graphics tool. This allows you to create 2D and 3D animated content and composite it with live footage right in one app. It's node based, which makes it really powerful and easy to work with. And it has pretty much everything you need, including motion tracking, rotoscoping and keying tools so that you can create all kinds of advanced effects. The next piece of software we're going to talk about is Touch Designer. Touch Designer is a node-based visual programming language that you can use to create real-time interactive multimedia content. Touch Designer is one of those powerhouse tools that can kind of do anything. Because it's really a node-based visual programming language, you're building little mini applications within Touch Designer that can do whatever you need them to do. You have nodes that allow you to take in all kinds of different data, video, 3D objects, and you can wire them up together to communicate with each other and create pretty much anything that you want. This can be real-time 3D, projection mapping. I even know somebody who created an entire VJ software within Touch Designer. Like, they built their own Resolume. Touch Designer also has an amazingly dedicated group of users and developers behind them who are constantly putting out new tutorials, workshops, and events related to Touch Designer. You can find them on their website, on forums, and on Facebook groups dedicated to the topic, and they can be super helpful. It's really hard to summarize all that Touch Designer can do, so I really recommend you just go and check out some of the resources and see if it's something that's interesting to you. This is definitely a useful piece of software to learn because even if you don't use it to create graphics or anything like that, as you get into real-time graphics especially, building these custom little apps apps inside Touch Designer that allow two different pieces of software to communicate and pass messages over OSC or whatever can be really, really handy. So Touch Designer isn't completely free. The non-commercial license is free and you can use that to create any personally driven projects. There are some resolution limitations, but it has all of the basic features and you can use it to learn the software. They do have a commercial and a pro license that you do have to pay for and those unlock a few advanced features and take off some of the limitations and you should use them when you're getting paid for your projects. But until then, you can get into this and start creating today for free. And I do recommend doing that. So if you're a bit more of a technical artist and you want to get into interactive installations or real time graphics, Touch Designer might be for you. The last piece of software I want to talk about today is Smode. So Smode is an interesting piece of software. It is a media server, it can do XR, it can uh, work with Unreal and Notch. It's a real-time render engine. You can create real-time 3D content or 2D content inside of it. You can make interactive pieces with it. It's really pretty incredible. Kind of a Notch alternative, kind of a, a baby D3 ish it's really an interesting kind of intersection of these things this one before i get too far it's not completely free the new versions do cost money but a perpetual license currently is only 60 euros so a lot cheaper than notch it's not a subscription awesome and tricky trick you can actually get the legacy version for free. It's a legacy version. It's not supported. It's not being updated, but it is usable. You can create some really cool shit with it. So there is a free option, but I recommend you check out both because some of the new features are really amazing. So if you're looking for a notch alternative that can allow you to create real time graphics, interactive pieces, or maybe you need a media server or a stage previs system, Smode might be the software you're looking for. All right. So those are my favorite pieces of free software that you can use to create concert visuals. 
There's Blender, a great all-arounder for 2D and 3D animation. Unreal Engine, a powerful real-time 3D engine that can be used for rendered content as well as for live, interactive, real-time pieces. We also talked about Resolve, a powerful video editor that also contains 2D and 3D animation tools. And Touch Designer, a powerful node-based visual programming language that allows you to create mini applications that can handle anything from data flow to interactive art pieces. And finally, Smode, a real time 3D engine and media server. This collection of software should allow you to create every type of content that my last video allowed you to create. That includes 2D animation, 3D animation, real-time graphics, interactive pieces, and even live performances. So I hope you found this helpful and you found a piece of software that fits your needs. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and come back later for more videos. Thanks for watching. Peace. It's kind of a weird take, but I don't know, whatever. Or